Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video. February has started. So of course, as with every other month, we have new apps to share with you guys. In this video, I have 10 apps that I will share with you and probably you will find a lot of these useful and maybe even use them on daily basis on your iPhone. So here we go. Here we have 10 apps that you must have on your device in February 2023. Starting things off with Paper Me. This is a wallpaper app that is pretty awesome. It offers a lot of different and very beautiful wallpapers for your iPhone. Opening the app, this is what you will see right here. So we have a few like different sections here. So we have depth field. Basically, these are wallpapers that will work with a depth effect on the lock screen of your iOS 16 device. Here we have the latest ones. Then we have the recommended wallpapers and you will have the hot wallpapers as well and you will have selected and all that you will have a menu right here and you will also have their section for your favorite apps for your favorite actual wallpapers now if you want to get one of these wallpapers on your device you tap on the wallpaper you can favorite it from here you can preview to see how it will look on the lock screen and home screen of your device and of course if you like it then you can just go ahead and download it from here as easy as that you can have some really beautiful wallpapers for free on your iPhone. Next up is Local Send. Now this app will help you send files to local devices, basically devices that are connected to the same network of your iPhone. And it will work on different devices, whether you have a different platform or not, you can, it can work on different devices, of course, as long as you have the app installed on both devices. So if you want to receive files, you will receive them right here. If you want to send, you go to the send section and right here, we'll see your nearby devices. Then you can go ahead and pick any of your files, any of your media, or you can tap on the text right there and you can just add any text you want, tap on confirm and send it to any receiver you want. Of course, again, as long as they have the app installed and you have them on your Wi-Fi network, just like that, you can share files, media, cross platforms from your iPhone to any of other devices. Next up is Screenshot SL. Now, how many times you wanted to share a screenshot on your social media, but it just looks ugly. Well, with this app, you can go ahead and create a mock-up of that screenshot with an iPhone and it actually looks pretty cool. All you have to do is tap here to import your screenshot. Once you have imported your screenshot, you will have all the different settings right here. So we'll have different frames you can add there. You can change the notch right there. You can see you can switch between different notches. You can add maybe a reflection to the screen right there, which looks pretty cool. Different shadows. And of course, you can rotate it, position it anywhere you want. You go here, you can add a second phone right there in the background. So the back of the iPhone right there. So just choose the iPhone you want. So let's go with white. So there we have the iPhone. It looks kind of cool. Of course, you will have the same settings for this as well. You can rotate it. You can change the opacity and all that. And if you go here, you can go ahead and add an overlay to the screen. So with the overlay, of course, if you choose one here, you can go ahead and just rotate it and add anything you want. And then you will have a background as well. So you can choose fit or fill and you can add images maybe or just add an invert of the image that you have currently on your screenshot right here you can maybe pick a color anything you want just like that you can actually create an awesome mock-up of any screenshot that you have on your device once you're done with that you tap on the menu right here and tap the export button and you're good to go next up is file converter now this is basically the only file converter you probably need on your iphone you can convert anything from images you can see right there if we tap on see all you can see all these different formats you can even, you can actually convert you will have documents as well so pdfs word documents excel or whatever that is and then you will have ebooks vectors as well so let's say we want to convert something to png we can just go ahead and tap here and select the file from the files app once you have selected the file this is what you will see so tap on here and in a couple of seconds here, we should have the file converted. So it actually works pretty good. The app is free and it will convert all these type, type of different files. So here we have the converted files. Now we can actually download it. We can rename it right here. And it will show us a list of all the different files that we have converted with this app. Once it, ha it has done that, we can tap on it to view the file. And of course, tap the share button right there and we can save it or share it anywhere we want. Frame Extractor is the next app for the video. Now this one is actually pretty good. 
how many times you did shoot a video with your iPhone and you wanted to extract just like a frame or just a sequence from that video, but taking a screenshot, you will probably never get the exact frame you want. Well, with this app, you can just load the video, you can play it here, of course, and then using these arrows, you can actually move frame by frame and just pick the exact frame that you want. So if I go and go faster, I can go with a slider here, and then I can just go ahead and tap like this and extract the exact frame I want. Tap right there, we're good to go. Save under images, and then we have the exact frame we wanted. Explorer is the next app for the video. This one is really interesting. What it allows you to do is explore the app stores of each country. Now, if you're a dev and you maybe wanna see if your app is available, on a store on another country, you can actually do that from here. It also allows you to quickly switch between different states on the app store or go to Explorer. And if I search here, let's say for Twitter, I can go ahead and search for Twitter here. And we're currently on the US app store. But if I wanna see if Twitter is available, let's say in Denmark, I can just tap right there and it will switch to the Denmark app store and of course do the exact search again. So just like that, you can find out whether an app is available on a certain country or not. The next app for this video is called Morphic and you can see how cool my lock screen looks. Now I did a video on this app actually, I have introduced this app on one of my videos where I showed you guys some of the coolest lock screen setups that you can get on iOS 16 and this is one of them, the app is called Morphic. It has a recently gone free on the app store and has some really cool updates. So let me show you guys how to achieve this look right here using this app. So this is the app right here. On the first page here, you will find a few different wallpapers that you can download from this app and you can actually even customize any of these wallpapers. So you can see right there, we can switch between different gradients right there and actually create our own wallpaper which looks kind of cool, just like this. You can see you can create any wallpaper you want, or you can go right here in the middle section. And here's what I'm talking about. So we have view lock screens. Now right here, you can create those custom looking lock screens. So this is the first one where you can have that space right there with a blurred background where you can place your widgets and it actually makes the lock screen look really different. If you don't want gradient, you can just switch here to a solid color then you can of course choose any color you want there. And then you will have here the ability to add a shadow. You can set the width right there and the height as well. So the height should be kind of like this. Maybe leave it to default if you want to have a better look on your lock screen. You can set also the corner radius which makes it look even better. And in my case what I did there is I just switched actually the position and just did the half here. So when I place the widget it shows only on the half here. So once you're done with all this you can just go ahead and of course tap here and select the wallpaper that you want to use. So here is my wallpaper and I'm already done with this. All I have to do now is actually tap apply and download this to my device. Now, once you have it downloaded to your device, all you have to do now is go ahead and set the wallpaper on your lock screen. Now, what I suggest you do if you wanna create this exact look, just place the wallpaper a bit higher, just like this, because when it when it's all done, when you tap done, it will iOS will automatically bring down the wallpaper a bit, so it shows there perfectly. So you can see it's not aligned that well here, but when I tap done here, and now we're good to go. You can see iOS will just drop the wallpaper a bit. So this is how it looks. It actually looks pretty cool and very different. Rapid Word Count is the next app for the video. It might look very simple, but probably a lot of people will find a lot of use for this app, especially if you're a student or you have to write something. You can just count words as easy as this. Just paste the words here. It will show you the number of words that you have on a certain text. Now, if you tap on words, you can also choose characters including spaces, so it will show all the characters of course, including the spaces there, and you will have characters without the spaces. It shows you the exact number of characters that you have on that text without including the spaces or just move to words. As easy as that, you can count words quickly on any like any text that you have. Just go ahead and paste it here and it's done. And for the last two apps, we have some widgets for the home screen of your iOS 16 device. This one is called 365. It allows you to add like countdowns to certain points in time that you want, and of course, have them on your home screen as well. So the way it works, you just swipe down like this, and it offers you the ability here to add like any date you want and do a countdown and even enable a notification 
for that countdown now once you're done here you can just go over to the home screen and add the widgets from this app this one right here the medium one will show you up to three different countdowns while the most recent one will be shown on the smaller one right here and last but not least is quotes you guessed it it will show quotes on the home screen of your ios 16 device so we have all the three different sizes of widgets and here we have the smaller one and the medium one it actually looks pretty cool and you can actually customize it so you go into the app and from here you can choose like the background or you can have even your own image as the background of the quote Right here will have the text color, the font as well. And you can also align it if you want to. You can see the preview right there, how it will look on your home screen. And then you can actually choose what you want to see here so if you want to see any of the different categories you can actually choose them from here you can also set the refresh interval so basically how fast the quotes will update on your home screen and also show the author of that quote right there and you're good to go right here you can also tap if you want to see the next quotes and just like that you can have them right on your home screen so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed all the apps if you want to download any of these apps make sure to check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one